Hi, I'm Victoria Ludeman and I am the CEO and co-founder of Awesome DIY Websites and today you'd like to find out what a Mail2 account is or what Mail2 actually means. Mail2 is really a, a technical term that we use in websites um, for email addresses typically. So we will sometimes ask uh, a person for their Mail2 information and really what it is is their email and this is how we actually use it. In your contact us form, there's a couple of ways that we do this, um, in your contact us form when somebody actually hits the enter button, in the back end coding it will say where are we mailing this to? So it's really quite straightforward when you know how, hey? Um, but effectively in the coding at the top we will say we now want to send it to whatever your email address is so that um, when someone submits the form obviously you know that they're trying to either make contact with you through asking for information or for an order. Um, very, very easy and straightforward when you know how. Another thing that you want to, might know about is that um, it's a mail to function again when you actually have an email address. So that mail to will go into your Outlook Express when somebody clicks on this email, um, info at awesomediwiwebsites.com, it will then go to the configured Outlook or Outlook Express or whatever the email program is that your customer has and again you can get that configured where it's a, it registers that it was, this was an inquiry that was actually coming from the website um, and you can just simply ask your designers or your programmers to make sure that it is clear in the address bar so that you can track the amount of inquiries that you're actually getting online so if you're doing it marketing online you can see what's working for you and what's not do be aware guys we don't overly promote um, uh, the links the mail to links on an info at or um, actual email account. The reason being is that um, there are uh, crawlers out there that will clone and pick up your information um, and use it for spamming purposes. So if you are going to have your information available, you can either have it where there is no link on it um, and they can't actually type it in, so someone would actually have to manually type in your email address into the Outlook section um, when they're sending you an email or if you do have it, ask for your design or your programmers to actually add um, a facility in where uh, I'm sure you've, you've seen this where it will ask you or prompt you to actually enter a series of codes it will say XYZ123 and uh, the person has to manually enter something before they're actually able to send any information off to you. So I would, I would promote something like that um, just to stop the spamming side of things for you. Uh, we automatically do this anyway um, at Awesome DIY Websites. You're very welcome to come and have a look at our site. Um, it's awesomediwiwebsites.com and we have a lot of free tutorials and whatnot there that you will find very useful uh, both in a technological front and also business um, assistance front. Thank you for making time for us today. We hope you found that helpful.